Hello everyone. Uh, today we will discuss about epidemiologic study, uh, descriptive study design. So uh, we will see about this uh, uh, descriptive study uh, design. In the next chapter is also analytic study design. These two chapters are important chapters related with research. So stay with us. Lecture outline. Just we will see about the uh, we will see about the case report and uh, we will see uh, about the case series ecological study and cross-sectional survey all these are considered to be descriptive study design so we will see this chapter all this one this is uh, learning objectives and uh, now we are starting about study design study design is a specific plan or protocol for a conducting study which allows the investigator to translate conceptual hypothesis into operational one study design is a logical model that guides the investigator in the various stages of research process research process so it is a protocol or a logical model uh, it's important for to allow an investigator to translate conceptual hypothesis into operational one uh, so epidemiological design strategies epidemiology is primarily concerned with the distribution and determinant of disease in human populations the basic design strategies in epidemiological research are categorized into, into into according to their focus of investigation so epidemiologic study design are can be classified into descriptive design and analytic design so uh, descriptive studies focus on the frequency and distribution of disease so uh, descriptive studies are important for to study the frequency and distribution of diseases analytic studies focus in elucidating the determinants of diseases uh, and finding or identifying the determinant of diseases descriptive studies one of the basic types of epidemiology describing frequency distribution uh, uh, of diseases by time place and person ppt person place and type so it's important for this one uh, characterization of the distribution of health related stages or events is one of the borrowed accept of the epidemiology called descriptive epidemiology so descriptive epidemiology provides what who when how many where of health related events health related events so there are five w's descriptive epidemiology what means health issue case definition what is that how many means it shows the magnitude of the problem and who is uh, shows the person where means shows the place where when means shows the time ppt person place time so so where is this? the research agent that is a place when is the research agent this time who person so how many magnitudes of person so uh, the other is time time means uh, when we see the time the occurrence of all the outcomes changes over time so uh, has the outcome occurrence whether it's changes over time or not is studied uh, is categorized under time some of these changes occur regularly while others are unpredictable so the common time change of these are either circular or cyclic or periodic or sporadic occurrence sporadic occurrences so there may be circular or cyclic or periodic or sporadic occurrences when uh, saying place pla describing the occurrence of this by place provides insight into the geographic context of the problem and it is a geographic variation of disorders so characterization by place refers to not only the place of residence but also any geographical location relevant to uh, this occurrence relevant to this occurrence so uh, person person attributes include age sex ethnicity and social demographic status or socioeconomic status age and sex are included in almost all data sets and are the most commonly analyzed person 
characteristics that means when we are studying when we are um, making researches uh, when we collect the data mostly agent six uh, included in the data in the data so uh, this six shows the person age shows the person so uh, this is to say that the other is person characteristics person personal characteristics may affect illness orga, organization and analysis of data by person may use inherent characters of people like age six race biological characteristics immune status acute characteristics marital status and activities like occupation leisure activities use of medication tobacco drugs and uh, the conditions under which they live like socioeconomic status access to medical care considered in the person so in this case there is what uh, there is case here uh, who cases considered under person so this is uh, by age group when we see place this is a uh, map so place the other is time time shows uh, this is shows time so when we see person it shows who when we are uh, concerning place it shows where and time it shows when when the study is done when where the study where the study done and who uh, whose studies this study or, or who are study participants in this study uh, so we can be uh, specified uh, under person place and time so application of uh, descriptive studies uh, descriptive study descriptive studies are useful for health managers to allocate resources and uh, to plan effective prevention programs and they are important for to generate hypothesis an important first step in the search for disease determinant or risk factors of the disease so uh, that it's very important to generate hypothesis so they are also as used as a baseline for other uh, analytic studies to study more they will provide uh, hypothesis for to, st uh, to study deeply by analytic studies the other is it is very less expensive and less time consuming so descriptive study is very uh, cheap uh, to perform it and uh, less time consuming because of there is no follow up and others so uh, all these are uh, application or important of descriptive studies so um, categories of category of descriptive studies uh, descriptive study uh, descriptive studies are case reporters case series cross-sectional and ecological studies these four uh, designs are categorized under descriptive studies but all uh, these three case report case race and cross-sectional are uh, uh, we use these three uh, designs if our study subjects are individual individual so the study uh, done at individual level so we use the three but uh, if study subjects are at population level we used ecological study or correlational study so the difference between these uh, two groups are the population uh, study subjects are at population level or at individual level if individual level we will use case report case race and cross-sectional study design if population level we will we, we, we will use correlational and ecological studies ecological studies so uh, uh, descriptive studies some studies simply describe the occurrence of disease or health related conditions like prevalence of study prevalence of study shows the occurrence of the disease whether that is present or not and uh, pro proportion of certain health related behaviors behaviors that uh, health related behavior occur or not uh, prevalence of any health outcome is that health outcome present or not so this is uh, descriptive studies for instance cross-sectional however we can identify unusual distributions or correlations uh, by using descriptive studies like cluster of cases like that these insights can be used to generate interesting epidemiological hypothesis regarding to the cause of the disease so 
related with the cause of or risk factor of the disease, uh, descriptive studies are important to generate epidemiological hypothesis. Hypothesis, uh, hypothesis that is tested by further analytic studies. Analytic studies. So uh, analytic studies uh, application. The one is to search for cause effect relationship and mechanism. This means uh, analytic studies are important for uh, cause effect relationship. So it's very important for why and how studies, how this happened, why this happened. So why and how studies are uh, done under analytic studies. The other is it focuses on determinants of disease. Uh, by testing hypothesis regarding the exposure and the outcome of interest so uh, determinant of studies are uh, done by or uh, uh, included by analytic studies so it's analytic studies are important to identify determinants of disease uh, they are important for testing hypothesis whereas descriptive studies are important for generating hypothesis so proof versus sufficient evidence is uh, showed by is shown by analytic studies uh, and also analytic studies are important to quantify the association between exposure and outcome of interest that is measure of association by course ratio uh, relative risk uh, incidence uh, and also other types of uh, incidence rate ratio other types of measure of association are uh, out of analytical studies so this is an application of uh, analy analytic studies. The basic feature is uh, the key feature of analytic epidemiology is comparison of group. Comparison of group. That means between exposed and uh, non-exposed, uh, between uh, diseased or non-diseased. So diseased and non-diseased group is compared, and exposed and non-exposed group is uh, compared. So uh this is a uh, so uh, comparison of group uh, exposed and exposed and disease and disease is uh, a key feature of analytic epidemiology and the other is appropriate comparison group is needed exposed versus non exposed cases versus control in case control this is in cohort and uh, experimental versus non-experimental and uh, it is a use of comparison group uh, that allows testing of epidemiological hypothesis so uh, analytic studies are important for comparison group allows testing of epidemiological hypothesis epidemiological uh, hypothesis for testing so uh, epidemiological approaches descriptive health disease in the community health and disease in the community what who when and where what what are the health problems of the community what are the types of this illness how many people are affected uh, what are the types of affected persons over what per period of time where where do the affected people live work or spend leisure time analytic etiology prognosis and progro program evaluation so why and how is under analytic epidemiology whereas these are under descriptive epidemiology so uh, so the other is uh, uh, this is uh, study design comparison so study designs can be divided into descriptive study design and analytic study design descriptive study design it can be case report case series correlational or ecological and cross-sectional they are four so uh, correlational is uh, correlational is at population level whereas cross-sectional case report case research at individual level and analytical uh, study design is divided into two observational and interventional this is whether the investigator intervenes or not so if it intervenes it is very inter interventional and uh, only simply observes it is observational observational so observational study design also divide into three comparative cross-sectional case control 
end court. The most common one is court end case control is under observational study uh, design. Under observational study design, the other is uh, interventional. Interventional also divided into two: interventional or experimental and cosy experimental. Cosy experimental so this is under interventional or experimental study design so uh, epidemiological designs does the study test hypothesis does does the study have comparison groups if no if uh, no, not testing but i uh, generating generating a hypothesis or th there is no comparison group it is descriptive study design it is dis descriptive study design whereas uh, is the study of in, in descriptive is the study unit uh, is the study unit individual if the study unit is not individual it is correlational or chronological study design if the study unit is individual case reports case series or cross-sectional or prevalent studies so if uh, does the study this hypothesis or does the study have comparison groups yes there is it, it will be analytical study design analytical study design in analytical study design we will ask does the researcher intervene the natural course of action the natural history of disease does the researcher intervene yes if uh, no intervene it's observational study simply observes what happened on the study uh, or participants it's observational so it can be cohort or case control cohort study design or case control uh, case control study design the other is uh, if uh, a researcher intervenes on the natural process of the study or the disease or the natural course of action it is an interventional or experimental it is an interventional or experimental this is uh, our uh, revision so when we are come to um, epidemiology uh, when we are come to discrete study design now we are starting discrete study design the first uh, discrete study design is case report Case report is a, the study of health profile of a single individual using a careful and detailed report by one or more clinicians. So, the case report is it's about the profile of one individual, a detailed report of one individual about uh, about uh, uh, the present illness, about uh, past of history illness, about the clinical manifestation, about the uh, laboratory investigations and ab about what is uh, happened on that individual detailed written uh, on the research on the report so uh, about single individual uh, it may be more written more than one individual or clinician but if it is uh, de deals with single individual it can be considered uh, considered as case report case report report is usually documented if there is unusual medical occurrence if unusual by the way many uh, many diseases will have many uh, patients uh, will affect many patients but there is a uh, case report is done when there is unusual medical occurrence or unusual uh, unusual happening is occurring in the community so this case report is very important for other countries or other communities uh, to understand if that disease is occur in their uh, situation or in their location so uh, this it may be first clue for identification of new disease occurrence so case report is will be a first clue a first clue so if repeated if repeated occurrences happened it will be case series one two three case series then if more than that it will be done by cross-sectional study so case report is very important as first clue and when there is a new symptom when there is a new uh, laboratory finding when there is new uh, case is happened so uh, this is an important finding the other is it is useful in constructing natural history of individual disease the natural history of disease yeah the case report is very important whether uh, uh, studying the natural history of that individual disease whether that disease leads to recovery whether that disease leads uh, uh, disability or death 
whether that this is, uh, is have uh, rapid onset or uh, short onset or like that. It is very important to study the natural state of individual disease. The other is uh, uh, an example for case report is uh, this report, term abdominal pregnancy. Term, uh, so uh, a 30, uh, this is case presentation. This is summary of abstract of the study. So a 30 year old gravidia, three para to amara woman presented with shortness of breath and progressive abdominal distension and pain. An emergency laparatomy was performed with impression of abdominal pregnancy. Interoperatively, the fetus was seen in intact amniotic sac in her abdomen. Her uterus was raptured at the fundus and placenta was extensively added to the edge of the ruptured site. The patient and the neonate progressed well and were discharged at the end. So, as you see, it, this is uh, abstract or summary. This summary is uh, intended about uh, one thirty year old woman. So, uh, this is conclusion. So, this is uh, a case report. A case report deals about a single individual. As you know, uh, term uh, abdominal pregnancy is a rare occurrence, unusual occurrence. Abdominal pregnancy is a rare from ectopic pregnancy with very high maternal and fetal morbidity and mortality. High index of species crucial for prompt or fast diagnosis and management, especially in the low resource setting. So, since abdominal pregnancy is a rare occurrence, this uh, case report performed to do that. Uh, so, the second type of uh, design is uh, case series. Uh, individual case report can be expanded to case series, which describes the characters of a number of patients with the same diagnosis. diagnosis. So, if uh, two and more than two individual uh, is found with the same diagnosis or with the same disease, uh, case uh, report is uh, expanded to case series. So we will uh, we will write case series. So we will write one ca one case, then we will follow the next case, then we will follow the next case. So uh, case series is. Uh, if single case is found, it's case report, but more two and more than two cases are found, uh, unusual cases are found, it's case series. Case series. Similar to case report, it is usually made, made on cases having new or unusual diseases, giving interest to clinicians. So it's often used to detect emergence of new diseases or an epidemic occurrence. So a new disease has happened or an epidemic has occurred, this case series will be done. The other is, uh, so an example is the first five AIDS cases in USA. So with PCP, uh, five individuals is first identified in the United States of America. So this uh, five individual profile were written. So uh, that was uh, an example of case series, an example of case series. So application of case report and case series, useful for recognition of new diseases. The one is uh, case report or case series is unimportant for recognition of uh, new diseases, new occurrence or unusual uh, happening. The other is useful for constructing of the natural history of disease. Uh, as we as we have seen before, the other is uh, case report or case series is important to enable to now the manifestation of new diseases, whether new new manf unusual manifestation where happened. The other is uh, to use formulate hypothesis to generate hypothesis and to detect an an epidemic occurrence of disease. The one is uh, to formulate hypothesis or to generate hypothesis. The other is to detect an epidemic occurrence of disease when there is. Uh, Epidemics, it is important to understand the first or the second cases. So, these four uh, uh, phrases or sentences are uh, showed about the application or the use of case report and case series in, uh, in together. So, advantages of case report and case series they are first clues in identification of new diseases or adverse effect exposure of drug. So, they will give us a first clue first so there is the first source 
there is a there case report in case series are important to identify outbreak occurrence outbreak occurrences and emergence of new disease emergence of disease when there is a emergent uh, an epidemic for instance when there is one case happened to the community this case will be studied so this is case report two and three cases are happened this case series. so they are important to identify outbreak or epidemic occurrences both case report and case series are able to formulate epidemiological hypothesis they are important for to generate hypothesis to generate hypothesis that was uh, tested by that will be tested by uh, analytic study design so disadvantage unable to test for a statistical association between exposure and outcome variables this is uh, we cannot test the statistical association between exposure and outcome variables it is difficult to test for hypothesis because there is no relevant comparison group so there is since there is no comparison group that is exposed and exposed this is not this that we cannot test the hypothesis but only generate hypothesis uh, the other is the fundamental limitation of case report is the presence of risk factor uh, that is simply a chance maybe sing, sing, since it is one case that things may be happened by chance by chance this is also limitation rates cannot be calculated since the population corresponding to the source case cannot be well defined since uh, that uh, case that the population corresponding to the source of case so that case uh, the population the area that case comes is not fully or not be well def since there is no way to be well defined rates cannot be calculated calculated studies are prone to anatomic fallacy or cannot be inferred to the population population so in case of uh, case reporting case race anatomic uh, fallacy will be happened uh, so uh, this is all about case reporting and case race the next is ecological studies uh, ecological studies or correlational studies uses data from entire population to compare these frequencies between different groups during the same time period or the same population at different points in time at different points in time so the main difference between ecological studies and other types of study uh, ecological studies are carried out at population level so uh, unlike uh, case report case series and conceptional uh, ecological or correlational studies are uh, carried out or done or performed at population level they use aggregate data and do not measure outcomes and risk factors at individual level so they will not measure uh, outcomes and risk factors at individual level they are at population level or uh, they use aggregate data aggregate at uh, uh, community level or at uh, regional level or uh, they use ag aggregate data and secondary data as well secondary data so circumcision and HIV in Ethiopia so HIV prevalence of uh, districts in Ethiopia versus proportion of male circumcision in the same districts fluoride content of water and the dental caries so proportion of people with dental caries in the village versus fluoride content of water supply in the village so let us see this uh, as example so um, correlates of maternal mortality develop in developing countries an ecological study in 82 countries so this study is conducted using international databases of health metrics from 2008 to 2016 using aggregates variable uh, using aggregates of health data from WHO World Bank UNDP UNICEF data basis for 82 developing countries the dependent variable was maternal mortality ratio while the independent variables was social demographic as related and uh, morbidity variables data was compiled in Excel and analyzed using a space version tinto so um, maternal mortality ratios the dependent variable so this data is aggregate data at this level at country level so uh, this is uh, an example of ecological study 
So maternal mortality ratio is very high in developing countries and numerously varies among countries. Significant relationship between the maternal mortality ratio and socioeconomic health care mobility indicator variable was observed. There was an, an inverse and significant correlation of the maternal mortality ratio with antenatal care, care coverage, skill birth attendance, like this. So, uh, correlation step design was made uh, just like this at this level. You can read all. So, advantages and disadvantages of ecological study. One, e ecological study measure, measures the association in ecological studies correlation coefficient. We will use correlation coefficient or R. Pearson's correlation coefficient will be used. Correlation coefficient quantifies the extent to which there is linear correlation correlation of exposure and outcome variables. So uh, R is found between uh, minus one and one, minus one and one. So if uh, the correlation is found in this way, does not show Carvinchel association, alcohol consumption versus CHD, coronary artery disease relationship. It mostly uses secondary data. This is also, by the way, weakness, secondary data. And also does not show Carvinchel association, uh, so, because of that, are four groups. You cannot link disease and exposure of individuals. So, uh, expo uh, individual exposure and link uh, and disease are cannot be linked because of it can be taken at aggregate level. Confounding effect is very high, and caution must be taken to avoid drawing inappropriate con conclusion or ecological fallacy. By the way, Atom atomistic fallacies uh, happened on the case report and case series, but ecological fallacies happened on the uh, correlational study or uh, ecological study so the other is due to uh, the importance of uh, ecological studies to generate a research question formulate epidemiological hypothesis this is uh, strings and can be done quickly and inexpensively often using available information this is also strings and uh, and uh, this is things all others are weakness so um, or limitation so this is uh, about uh, correlational study or ecological study design so ecological study design will be done at aggregate at country or at community level uh, by using aggregate or secondary data and uh, it uh, measures correlation or, or presents correlation coefficient uh, so uh, the last design is uh, cross-sectional study design. This is the most common also. It's also known as uh, prevalence study or survey study. It is a major type of descriptive study design. Yeah, most of us uh, were doing the cross-sectional studies from uh, most commonly is this one. Uh, so because uh, one it measures what is ratio, the other is it simply then with a uh, uh, short period of time so it is more strong than the previous ones so it's very important and common type of study design survey is conducted in the population to find the prevalence of disease or the prevalence of exposure at point in time at point in time w within this as a specified point in time we will measure the prevalence of that disease occurrence that is occurring. So, exposure and disease stats are assessed simultaneously among individuals at point in time. So, uh, during or at that specified time period, exposure information and disease information will be taken simultaneously. That means either will not follow by using uh, uh, exposure into disease or will not follow by using uh, disease into exposure. So, in this case, exposure and disease status are simultaneously collected at specified point in time. This is a, a very important con concept that differentiates cross-sectional study design with other study designs like court and uh, cross-sectional. And uh, point in time indicates the speed of data collection, be days, weeks, months, years, but the measurement is take place only once. Only once. So, uh, cross-sectional studies help administrators in assessing the health status of the community, healthcare needs of the population, 
it, uh, it's also important to assess the prevalence of acute and chronic diseases, diabetes, uh, disabilities, utilization of health care resources, and also the purposes for effective health care planning. If uh, some, if the burdens of one's case or one's uh, disease is identified, it is important for uh, policymakers uh, for effective health care planning for the diseases or resources. Priority setting, if uh, the prevalence is very high or incidence is very high, priority can be given for that case. Resource allocation for that and administration. Resource allocation and administration will be important. So cross-sectional studies are important for these scenarios. The other cross-sectional study could provide information about frequency of health conditions by providing a snapshot at specified time period. So maybe uh, within a uh, short period or snapshot of uh, time, uh, if frequency of health conditions will be identified. For instance, uh, in one population at specified time, the prevalence of uh, DM is uh, two percent or three percent or the, pre uh, the number of dmr 200 or 300 uh, under two million populations or eight thousand populations like we can say just like this in this study measures of association is using odds ratio or you can say prevalence ratio so odds ratio is the measure of association for cross-sectional studies prevalence ratio of exposure among diseases to non diseased or or prevalence ratio of disease among exposed to non-exposed groups are identified. So prevalence ratio of exposure among diseased and non-diseased. Prevalence ratio of disease among exposed and non-exposed uh, will be then or will be estimated. Uh, so when we see this uh, cross-sectional studies, there is begin with defined population. There is defined population gather data on exposure and disease at the same time so four groups are possible so exposed have disease there are individuals who, who have been exposed and have disease there are there have been individuals who have been exposed but do not have developed disease and there are individuals uh, who do not exposed but have disease who do not exposed and have disease and individuals who have not been exposed and do not have disease at all not exposed not have this so this type of four groups of individuals will be uh, categorized or uh, found on the cross-sectional studies but uh, not for uh, there is no follow-up on these four groups to get these four outcomes so then uh, advantages of uh, advantage advantages of cross-sectional studies uh, that are one stop one time collection of data. Since the data is collected at specified, uh, specified time, uh, it is not uh, cumbersome or it's not tedious. So it is done with short period of time, short uh, resources. So it's very, uh, it is this, uh, uh, this is one important concept. The other is, uh, it is uh, cross sectional studies are less expensive or cheap and more expensive to conduct. Uh, provide much information useful for planning health services and medical programs show relative distribution of conditions disease injury disability in groups and populations studies are based on sample of the major population do not rely on individuals that present themselves for medical treatment so uh, based on sample based on random uh, cross-sectional cross-sectional studies are then on the specified population by taking random sampling by random uh, by taking random sampling from source population so uh, this is this is also it is uh, the strength of the study uh, so when uh, see when we are when we are observing uh, the limitation of this cross-sectional studies since exposure and disease status is assessed at single point in time, temporal relationship between exposure and disease cannot be determined. That means cause and effect relationship is, is can, can, uh, uh, cannot be clearly determined. So uh, temporal relationship means since exposure and disease are at the same time, 
the time sequence between or is the exposure is uh, before this or this is before exposure is cannot be easily identified so temporal relationship is uh, cannot be clearly determined this is limitation not good for rare diseases not good for rare diseases or rare exposures rare exposures so uh, this is another limitation the prominent limitation is yeah the first limitation is egg or chicken delima egg or chicken delima de meaning it is difficult to know which occurred first whether the exposure is comes first or the outcomes comes first is difficult to determine Physi physical inactivity versus uh, coronary heart disease so uh, egg and chicken dilemma is another limitation it is difficult to, to know <coughs> and in cross-sectional studies uh, uh, whether it's exposure or outcome comes first for uh, let us see for instance in uh, physical inactivity and coronary heart disease uh, if you got patients uh, if uh, physical inactivity is uh, associated if you get the finding physical inactivity is associated with coronary heart disease it is difficult to know whether uh, those individuals uh, the, whether they are really uh, inactive uh, physically or after cause after getting coronary heart disease they may they will be inactive due to disease so uh, so some individuals are inactive due to their inactivity they will get coronary heart disease and also in the other idea or in other groups some heart disease or coronary heart disease due to that disease effect they will not be more active so there will be inactivity so is that uh, physical activity leads to coronary heart disease or coronary heart disease uh, leads to uh, physical inactivity? This is another dilemma. Uh, unless uh, physical inactivity individual is handled and uh, followed for the future, it cannot be easily identified whether physical inactivity is uh, the period or coronary heart disease period. So this is lead chicken ill chicken egg dilemma whether the uh, is there eggs comes first or chicken is comes first is another dilemma so uh, this is a limitation of cross-sectional so an example for um, cross-sectional studies uh, for instance uh, uh, contraceptive method utilization so uh, this is our depend uh, the dependent variable is contraceptive use so contraceptive use yes or no is binary or dichotomous so for this uh, study uh, for this study community based cross-sectional study design was undertaken with 700 years women in a reproductive aging industry so uh, so uh, for this study uh, cross-sectional study design was employed so uh, we will use cross-sectional in these cases the other is uh, in the epilepsy uh, for instance uh, an institution based cross-sectional study design was conducted with this teacher so this is also uh, yeah, the previous one is uh, community based this is also uh, an institution based cross-sectional study design so for instance uh, epilepsy knowledge good knowledge poor knowledge uh, favorable attitude and favorable attitude good practice poor practice so for this dichotomous cross-sectional study design will uh, was used so the exposure and uh, outcome variable collected simultaneously collected simultaneously so this is also the same thing cross-sectional study was conducted so uh, this is a cross-sectional study on this is also attitude willingness and associated factors of organ donation and uh, the other is uh, 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 this is pelvic organ prolapse treatment delay in seeking treatment among women with pelvic organ prolapse so this is also cross-sectional study cross-sectional study design and uh, marginal cord section uh, anesthetician based cross-sectional study design was conducted also for this study so uh, 
anterior fontanel size among terminal unit so this is uh, this study also intended to identify the mean size the mean size of anterior fontanel so cross-sectional study design is not only for prevalence study but also it's important for to study the mean the mean size so to identify the mean or for continuous variable also can be used so this is a descriptive cross-sectional study design uh, so for this type of study so the other is the prevalence in the factors of hemorrhoids this is also used in institution based cross-sectional study design uh, so uh, this is an anatomical study so this is also an institution based observational cross-sectional study design was uh, used so this is all about uh, the uh, descriptive uh, cross-sectional study design so uh, we have seen case series, case report, case report, case series, correlational study design and descriptive study design so this is all about the uh, descriptive study design so uh, the next uh, chapter or the next section will be analytic study design we will see uh, uh, cross uh, case control cohort and uh, experimental or in interventional study design in detail with examples so to get the next videos don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you very much for watching this video enjoy the video have a nice time bye bye